Welcome to the Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, and Business Podcast Weekly Reading. I'm Charlie. We are currently reading The Path of the Yoga Sutras by Nikolai Bachman. And this week, we are in Chapter 34. Pranipaksa Bhavana, Cultivating the Opposite. I have learned silence from the talkative, tolerance from the intolerant, and kindness from the unkind. I should not be ungrateful to those teachers. Khalil Gibran. All people want to be heard, understood, valued, and loved. Pratipaska Bhavana is the principle of investigating the other side of a story, witnessing an obvious wrong and doing what we can to rectify it, or listening to another's point of view. This practice is most applicable to the five ethics called yamas. Whenever we experience an unethical act or hurtful interaction, it is important to step back and remind ourselves to take the high road, recognizing the inner light of awareness hidden deep beneath another person's thoughts, emotions, habits, and beliefs. When a falling out occurs between two people, we often hear only one person's rendition of what happened. As a friend or family member, we listen to that person's account and do what we can to support them. Yet we want to avoid generating any negativity toward the other person. When seeking the truth, it is necessary to hear the second person's story as well. Only once we have a complete picture of the events as they unfolded, can we clearly discern what happened? It is kind of like being a mediator and listening to both parties before attempting to resolve the conflict. When we are close to one party, it is easy to take that person's side out of loyalty, even when that person may be the cause of the conflict. For a similar example, when a relationship involving a friend of yours ends, You probably only hear your friend's side of the story, which may make the other person look like the bad guy. Only when you hear the other person's version of the breakup can you truly understand it yourself. By listening to both sides of the story in a non-judgmental way, we can maintain a decent relationship with both parties and not run the risk of spreading false information based on one person's opinion. Drilling down to the truth can be difficult and painful, yet upholding what is right, dharma, is part of living according to yoga. Another meaning of Pratipaska Bhavana is deciding what to do when we witness an obvious wrongdoing. Actions opposite the yamas are those that are unethical, hurtful, or disturbing. According to yoga, they can be mild, moderate, or excessive and they come from greed, anger, and delusion. Furthermore, whether such actions are done, approved of, or consented to, they inevitably result in pain, dukkha, and ignorance, avidya. These actions are to be avoided, and when encountered, they may cause us to stand up for what is right. There are times when we are reminded of what is ethical while experiencing unethical behavior. When we witness events contrary to the yamas, they very well may disturb us. Automatically, we are reminded of opposite, virtuous qualities like the yamas and strive to cultivate those instead. Negative thoughts can be used as opportunities to create positive thoughts. In this way, Pratipaska Bhavana supports the yamas. If we witness an event that we know is hurtful or unfair, we may be able to intervene to transform it for the better. For example, you see someone shoplifting and become a little uncomfortable. You know in your heart mind that stealing is wrong. Therefore, non-stealing is right. Whether you act or not and how to act is up to you. And you must use your discretion to weigh the pros and cons of each possibility. Pratipaska Bhavana can also mean putting ourselves in another's shoes. Most people act according to habitual patterns based on their past. When we expect other people to act and react just like we do, we are unconsciously 
projecting our own belief system onto them. Each person has her own unique set of beliefs and characteristics, and each will act according to them. It is essential to try to understand why someone acts the way they do before prematurely react, reaching a verdict. In any interaction, remember that you may be entering the situation influenced by your own assumptions, which are based on past experience. Aklesha may arise. Before actually doing anything, immediately distance yourself from the resulting emotion that is about to cause a reaction. Then visualize the other side and ask yourself, how will the other person be affected? How much is my own perception of the situation causing this emotion? At this point, there's an opportunity to see what is going on from a more objective vantage point. By acting consciously and compassionately, instead of reacting negatively based on our own issues, we build a new, helpful, positive samskara. Pratipasta Bhavana is being aware that there may be another side to every story, honoring other opinions, imagining what it would be like to be in another's position or acting ethically in the face of injustice. Always striving for the truth, we have the ability and responsibility to understand a situation as best we can and then act in the best interest of everyone. Thoughts. Firm ethical standards and an attitude of fairness give me strength to counteract negativity. I can listen to both sides of the story without judging anyone. I will try to understand each person's point of view and not jump to conclusions based on assumptions or gossip. Exercises. Think of an example of a time when you acted against one of the yamas. Contemplate how you might act if the same event happened again. Notice the next time you project your own belief system onto someone else. See if you can understand their point of view and know that they may be projecting onto you as well. Think of a time when you witnessed someone doing something obviously unethical and yet you didn't act. Think of another time when you did act. Reflect on why you choose to act or not. Wow. Thank you for joining us for this week's weekly reading from The Path of the Yoga Sutras by Nikolai Bachman. We will be discussing this topic and many other topics on our podcast. Um, so make sure you find the Women in Leadership, Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast on your favorite podcast player. And you can always check out the website at www.womeninleadershipbsmb for details there, along with all the other goings on that we have. We've got blogs, we've got um, inspiration, we've got connections and networking and community events. So there's a lot of things going on. Go ahead and check out the website again, www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com. Thank you for joining us. Namaste.